This is the new on-running Cloud Stratus, a max cushion shoe from the company known for its clouds. And in this shoe, it takes its cloud technology and literally doubles down. But is this just a gimmick or is this a max cushion shoe that actually works? It's time to lace up the Cloud Stratus and take them for a run. Ten point four one miles, eight minutes, forty seconds per mile, one hundred forty eight beats per minute today on a very interesting run for the first time in the brand new on cloud Stratus. Now, before I give you my thoughts on this shoe, I do want to go over some disclosures. This is a pair of shoes that was sent to me early by on for the purpose of review. However, they're not paying me to make this video or to use the shoe and they're not going to get a chance to preview any of my footage or my thoughts before you guys get a chance to see this video on YouTube. So with that disclosure out of the way, let's talk about the on cloud Stratus. All right, let's go over some specs first on this shoe. This is a 30 millimeter stack height shoe in the here with a nine millimeter drop, giving us 21 millimeters of ons helion super foam but you're not getting just a brick of foam there's a lot more going on in this midsole in addition to these holes that are here and these holes go all the way through you could blow through these holes that are in the side of the shoe and an air will flow out the other side almost kind of like a pan flute you also have within these clouds which are designed to make the impact and the landing more soft in addition to those clouds you've got a speed board on the bottom which is a stiff polypropylene material that acts a little bit as kind of some stability and a little bit like a plate in the shoe as well. Moving to the outsole, we've got some rubber coverage on it and sometimes you're running directly on the midsole foam. So they're keeping the rubber nice and light. Even where there is rubber, there's not a ton of it and it's not very thick. So I'm liking that they're trying to be a little bit more judicious with the application of rubber, just what you need for some grip and durability. And I think a big distinguishing feature about this outsole is that you've got a huge channel running down the middle of the shoe as well. Up top, we have that beautiful Swiss engineering that On is famous for. They just have such immaculate sense of design, and that's definitely showing up here. I love what they're doing with this white mesh in terms of some of the thicker layers and the thinner layers that are more breathable and see-through. The material is very stretchy, and even though it is very strong, uh, it is also very comfortable to put on the foot. It's made out of 75% recycled polyester and an overall 20% of the material in this upper comes from recycled content. There's a little bit of padding in the tongue, not too much. And then you get a little bit more padding on the areas that are gonna touch your ankle and back here on the heel. And it finally ends in a quite rigid and quite substantial heel cup that's back here. All told, this entire package comes in at a stated weight of 315 grams for a size eight and a half US men's, which translates to 11.11 .11 ounces, which is very heavy. But when I measured this shoe myself, because I have a men's size nine, my weight came in at 10.4 ounces and 296 grams. So quite a bit lighter. I'm not sure where the discrepancy is coming in on that, but I'm gonna go with the number that I found on my scale, 10.4 ounces, which puts it on the heavy side for a daily trainer, but for a max cushion shoe, I feel like that's pretty acceptable. It's in within the range, it's still heavy, but like it's within the normal range for max cushion shoes. Now that's enough with the specs. Now let's talk about what it was like to run in this shoe. And I think the best way for me to describe it is to kind of talk about the two different runs, I had like a Jekyll and Hyde kind of thing with the runs going on today. The first half of my run, I absolutely did not like this shoe at all. The second half was quite a different story. So for the first half, I went out and took it out like I would take out a max cushion shoe. I'm feeling a little bit tired. The hours of training for me are adding up. I've been getting ready for my first triathlon coming up at the end of this month in August. And so 
I'm feeling a little bit tired. So I wanted to go out for an easy run, a medium distance run, 10 miles was the goal for today, getting about, hopefully about an hour and a half, maybe a little bit more than that time on feet, but just getting the legs moving, getting some aerobic work in there, not really pushing too hard, but getting that aerobic benefit for the day. And as I was doing that, I found that the shoe, even though it's got all these clouds in it, it felt very firm. It didn't feel like a max cushion shoe at all. I didn't feel any softness. I mean, there's plenty of room in here and it felt nice and the heel lockdown was good. So all those things made sense, but I didn't get the sense that this was like a max cushion shoe. I didn't feel any like, this is a way to kind of reward yourself or pamper yourself on some of your longer runs, which is kind of what I want max cushion to be. And by pamper, I don't mean I want it to be like luxurious and like ornate and over the top. I just want something to be very comfortable that's gonna help me get through some of those longer miles. Not what I got from it at all. Instead, what I got was a firm midsole, even despite the fact that they've made the walls in between these channels thinner this year compared to last year is what I'm understanding, which should, further aid in making for a soft, squishy experience. So as you're landing on each of these clouds, because there is negative space inside these chambers that you're landing on, they should be compressing, uh, which should aid in a soft landing experience. And then as you're picking up your foot, it should rebound and give you a little bit of momentum going forward, especially when put in conjunction with the speedboard. That's what I thought was gonna happen, but I didn't really get that sense at all. Instead, I just got a lot of firmness in this midsole and I felt like the shoe was really finicky and very specific. It wanted me to run in a very certain kind of way that is not the normal way that I tend to run. Now, I don't have a perfect foot strike. I don't have like textbook form by any means, but I also feel like I am not that terrible that I felt like I needed so much correction. And I felt like the shoe was constantly at very slow paces trying to correct me. I felt like this channel in the middle was definitely asserting itself and trying to like twist my foot a little bit, which maybe that's ultimately better for me. Maybe it's helping me out, but it felt uncomfortable to me. And so I always kind of felt awkward on my right foot because my right foot does kick out a little bit further than the left. So it always felt a little bit awkward and I couldn't really figure out, does this want me to be a heel striker? Does this want me to strike in the midfoot? Does this want me to strike in the forefoot, which is where I normally want to land? So I just felt like it was arguing with me the entire time and ultimately I just felt like, I don't know, it's been two years since I reviewed an on shoe. I didn't really get along with the last one that I tried. I have a feeling that's the story that's gonna happen on this one. But then I hit the turnaround point for today and for whatever reason, I just started picking up the pace, but that's when things really started to change. And I started having a fantastic time in this shoe. I think that what's going on with these clouds is that they have kind of a specific rebound timing. The way I'd like to think about it is like, imagine like two kids on a trampoline at the same time. If they bounce in the right timing, they'll both bounce really smoothly and really high, a lot of energy. One person gives energy back to another. And I feel like with a running shoe, if the timing is right in terms of how quickly the, the foam squishes and how quickly it bounces back, and if it, it could do that in complement with the way that your body's moving. And I felt like for me, the clouds on on, at least in the last shoe that I tried from them a couple of years ago, I felt like that timing was off. But when I picked up the pace and moved to moderate pace, all the way from moderate pace, basically a little bit faster than easy pace, up to a marathon pace effort, then I felt like I really got into sync with this shoe and the shoe started to really sing. Maybe because when I'm moving a little bit faster, I'm not landing as much in the midfoot, so I'm avoiding this speed channel. But as I picked up the pace, I really felt like the foam started to soften up which is something I've seen in a lot of foams, especially more speed oriented foams that are firm to begin with. But as you're moving faster, putting more force into the ground, pushing off harder, then like that firm foam becomes relatively speaking, nice and soft. And that's kind of the sensation that I had with this shoe. So once I picked up the pace to moderate paces or a little bit faster than that, up to kind of a marathon effort, I felt like the shoe and I were completely in sync. All the things that were bothering me about the shoe all disappeared. Even the weight of the shoe didn't really bother me all that much. And I just felt fantastic, even though I started out the day very tired, just felt fantastic cruising along back home from my out and back run, moving at a faster clip. And so I was just utterly delighted 
to be running in this on cloud Stratus. And that's not a thing that I thought I would say when this on running shoe showed up at my door. So I'm extremely surprised at the way that this shoe feels when you're running. This shoe delivers as a long run shoe. So as a max cushion shoe, I, I don't think I could recommend it as a max cushion shoe. It's not what I'm looking for when I'm looking for a max cushion shoe. But if you're looking for a long run shoe or maybe a long run shoe that's gonna be a little bit for workouts, especially as we're getting ready for our marathons, there's gonna be some faster miles, some faster repetitions built into those workouts. That's where a shoe like this is really gonna come in handy. I'm really gonna be excited to try this out on a longer run. I'm very surprised about this on Cloud Stratus. It's not what I was expecting at all. I like the way the shoe looks overall, and it's really delivering a fun running experience when I was moving at those moderate efforts. So this is a shoe that I will continue running and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can see updates of this shoe, especially as I start pinning it against other long run shoes that aren't necessarily marathon racers, but maybe some people will race in them, but aren't marathon racers, but are good long run or long run workout shoes. Mainly I'm thinking about the Bondi X. I'm thinking about the Puma DV8 Nitro. Those are some shoes that I think this shoe is gonna stack up really nicely again. So hit that subscribe button so you could see those comparison videos as they get published. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, what's going on?